you guys, we just had some serious lightning bolts coming out of that area right there. So it's August 8th, 2022 in Big Bear Lake, California. Look at me with my with my mohawk. Look, look, you guys like it from the back, everything? How's it look? How's it look? How do I look? Still pretty lame, like a dork? Okay, good. Then it's it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I really do have problems, you guys, but uh, 99 problems and uh, everyone else is a problem too. Okay. We're gonna head out to Big Bear City now, folks, because that is where the lightning is coming from. Woohoo! Yeah, boy! I'm yelling out the window. Okay, I get really too excited about this stuff. It's just crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. All right, so right up there, you guys, I'm telling you, that lightning bolt was insane. So it's the first bolt I saw. And today we weren't supposed to get anything according to yesterday's forecast. So check it out, guys. We were supposed to have major thunderstorms all week this week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, some Saturday and a lot Sunday. Well, as of yesterday, the forecast changed and it looked like Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, we weren't gonna get anything up here. And as you can see, look at the sky. You can tell there's definitely something there. And I just saw a lightning bolt too, so. Um, yeah, let's, uh, yeah. <laughs> let's just keep our fingers crossed that we run into, into something super, super cool. All right. Okay. Sorry, guys, I had to take that phone call. So, yeah, right when we wrap around this corner up here to head towards Big Bear City, that's where we should see some, uh, some good lightning, I'm hoping. Here's the grocery stores over here, Vaughn's, we got Maggio's Restaurant, DIY, Starbucks. Oh, the lightning bolt was right there and I missed it. Dang! Why do I get so excited about this? I don't know. I don't know. But I'm happily married, so I guess that counts. I, see, I don't make any sense. Like, I talk and say things that don't make any sense. All right, here we go. Here we go. Jojo, Jojo. Okay. Oh my gosh. Yeah, you, you can tell straight ahead, guys. That's going to be freaking gnarly. Okay. Keep your eyes peeled, guys. This is going to be awesome. Because we get to stay in this direction for a few minutes here. So we're bound to see something. Just please keep your eyes peeled. Oh, yeah. Oh my gosh, it's so amazing. It's so dark. Oh my gosh, I love it. This type of weather makes me so happy, you guys. I know this type of weather is very depressing for a lot of people, but for me, I love it. Okay, so now that we made this turn, oh my gosh, it's super dark over there. I don't know which direction to look. We're gonna look right there. We're gonna keep the camera pointed right there. That's where it's gonna happen. That's where the map is gonna happen. Come on, Mr. Lightning Bolt, come down for me right now. Hello, Mr. Lightning Bolt. Yeah, I, I, I do have a problem. Nothing some medication can't fix, right guys? <laughs> I don't know why I'm so I'm so full of it today, but I just I am. Just look at these clouds though, my gosh. Alright, come on, come on, give me some light. Give me some lightning. I don't want to turn away. It's gonna happen right there, you guys, no doubt. 100 percent 100 percent It's gonna happen right there. Just keep your eyes peeled. I keep on saying that. I'll shut the hell up now for a minute. Contact lenses today. 
are you guys doing? I hope everybody's doing great. I hope you guys are staying safe and staying healthy out there. I absolutely love you guys so freaking much. You guys leave me the nicest, most beautiful comments, and you guys make me feel so amazing as a human. You guys are truly amazing people, and I just want to be able to do whatever I can for you guys. I seriously love you guys a ton, um, and yeah, I love making these videos for you guys too, so let's continue doing these. Keep your eyes open, folks. Keep them open. I know it's going to happen right now as I'm pointing straight ahead, but it's going to be over there. Or look now straight ahead. Wow, that looks really dark out there, too. Listen for it, listen for it. It was huge right there. Listen. That was a huge landing, but I can't hear the thunder. What the heck's the deal? Oh my goodness gracious. We're gonna pull into this uh, Circle K here for a moment. That was a very beautiful lightning bolt. I loved it a lot. Okay. Let me just... Uh... Okay, so we're not going to be able to... I don't know what's going on here. But I just want to stay here for a second because that's where the darn lightning is coming from. Ah. Uh. Wow, it's just this one, this one little storm. Look guys, it's blue over there. Here's the little storm, then it's kind of blue over there. You know what, let me just, I'm gonna pull in and get something to drink real quick. That's Circle K, but I really want us, let's wait right here for one lightning bolt, okay? It's gonna be right there, it's going to. that it's not coming out and <laughs> oh my gosh okay here we go let's see straight ahead watch it watch it watch it it's coming it's coming seconds and I feel really odd to standing here like this people walking by me probably thinking like wow what is this guy's problem <laughs> you know we're gonna get a little closer open up right here let's see here Pretty. I mean, these skies are really pretty how dark they are. But yeah, you guys, we're getting a little bit of drizzle right now, too. So, I mean, this is what I do. Let's get some lightning, though. Come on. Just give me some lightning. to like turn the camera around at all because literally the second I move it it's gonna it's gonna, we're gonna 
let's see what you're riding. So, also, oh, come on, come on, come on, you guys. I know I'm super annoying, but I just heard thunder. people would be making fun of me but they were actually like super stoked that I'm doing this. I am big bear weather anymore. Whatever that means. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, this is just killing me now. I know this sucks, you guys. Just please bear with me. As soon as we get one more lightning strike, I am out. Because I got to go to work, too. I'm running behind because of this. Then my wife wants me to help her at her work, too, so I got to hurry up. I've got to hurry up. I was just saying hello. That's just thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> that was nice of him. I was saying hello to the workers and they turned on the air for me. Thinking I needed air. Alright, we're gonna go inside circle K real quick. Watch, we're gonna miss the lightning. It's gonna be like the loudest thunder we've ever heard. That's pretty funny. Yeah, thank you. I, I was just saying saying hello. <laughs> What's up, Nick? Look at that. So towards Big Bear Lake, there's no no more clouds over there. So frustrating. Just frustrating. Gotta go. Uh, I, I gotta go to work real quick. Got people waiting on me, and then uh, yeah, it's pretty cool because in between my work, I can do these videos, which is just fantastic. Like, I would do these videos anyway, no matter how busy I am or not. But yeah. two lightning bolts, huge ones, guys. I don't want you to think I'm BSing you. Abundance of this is killing me. All right, I'm gonna have to shut it down for a moment, I think. All right, I just turned it back on again. So we're not gonna sit here for too much longer because we can't. Yeah, we got 
got some good thunderstorms going. So I'm not going to miss an opportunity though. So while I'm sitting here in my car waiting for somebody, I'm not going to miss this opportunity to capture So it doesn't look like it's gonna happen. At least not in this sitting. I'm sorry guys, I don't mean to be such a bummer and waste your guys time like this, but welcome to Big Bear. Welcome to Big Bear. Flood advisory for Big Bear Lake, California until Monday, August 8th, 4.45 p.m. Come on, stop giving me crap. so damn irritating i don't even know what to do how do you guys like the hawk though for real because i have like a receding hairline because i'm a freaking getting old and unfortunately like uh the mohawk's the only thing that makes it look like my hair isn't receding as much it's kind of a trick kind of a good trick oh no okay you guys so we're leaving circle k we're gonna cross over because that's where i got to go meet somebody on the other side on north shore so we're going to cross over to north shore when we get to greenway but we're going to stay focused right here because that's where the lightning is going to hit or strike i guess would be the right word it's so gorgeous man i'm not even watching because i have to watch the road so usually in my peripheral vision i can tell if it happens but look at this straight ahead. Wow, we might get something there. I wish I had two cameras to hold them in my hands right now. Point them in both those directions. I mean, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on now. Strike me, baby. Can't you see that I am not afraid? That's the spot, though, right there. Once again, you guys, I'm sorry that I'm so like extra crazy today. So forgive me about that. I just, I'm excited. My life is great. I'm married. I have my best friend in my life and my other best friend. So my two best friends, my wife and my best friend, Curtis. It's pretty amazing. I'm a very fortunate man. Okay, here we go. Turn down Greenway and hopefully nail some lightning here. Oh boy, oh boy. I want to hit some lightning. Oh, give me lightning, please. Oh, I'll give you lightning, my friend. Plane's taking off too, or a helicopter. of storm chasing how cool is that you guys in big bear we're doing storm chasing in big bear okay okie dokie all the chokey now we're gonna have to hold it out this window like this this is going to be nightmare. Nightmare to do this. This nightmare. And mi amigos y amigas, yo puedo hablar español más o menos. So si tienes una pregunta, yo soy aquí. Yo puedo ayudar si quieres. Woohoo! <laughs> Sorry guys. I know I'm very, very weird. Very, very weird. Don't do it, guy. Don't do it, 
guy. These bus drivers up here, you guys, are crazy. They are so crazy. They do not care. I had one of these school bus drivers, when there were kids on the bus, I had my motorcycle parked like, like it wasn't in the road. It was, it was on the side where it was supposed to be parked, but like I was standing on the, on the side where it's closest to the road. So I was standing in the road a little bit and he, or he, she flipped me off with a bunch of kids in the freaking bus. Can you believe that? I got flipped off, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I know a lot of you are probably saying we need to drug test this guy. What's wrong with him? <laughs> Seriously. There's a lot wrong with me. But when it comes to you guys, there's nothing wrong with me. You know what? Let's look at the beautiful views then since we're not getting any lightning. I know there is some because I can hear the thunder rumbling, but it's not spotting it. Anyway, guys, I think we're going to make this video go bye-bye for a moment, and then I will return. But seriously, each and every single one of you, I really want to tell you guys thank you so very much for the love and always the amount of support you guys give me. I've never imagined that I would have relationships like this or be this close to so many people who actually care about me and my well-being and I would literally do anything for you guys I would do anything for you guys all joking aside I would do anything for you guys you guys I keep on telling you guys this but you guys have saved my life like you guys have saved my life I was going through severe depression for years up here and you guys literally saved me from the ultimate maybe sin. I'm not kidding. Thank you guys. Like I, I owe you guys my life. And I'll never stop telling you guys that because it means so much to me that you guys have reached out and cared so much. Some of you have even come up during my really hard times to like give me a hug and stuff and just to show me love. Like I, it's, it's, it's very special to me. So thank you. You guys are very special. To me. Let's get another little look out out here see if we can get some lightning up in there some lightning up in there there's snow summit and then bear mountain snow summit bear mountain oh and the car in front of us yep there's a car in front of us it's a volvo it's a volvo volvos are wonderful cars so safe go 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 Now we are on Stanfield Cutoff, you guys, which is one of the most beautiful. This part of this street is one of the most beautiful streets in all of Big Bear because of the views once we get up here. To the right is the lake, and then to the left is a reserve and Baldwin side of town if you look far enough. Okay, so we're gonna take a look at the lake first on this side, on the right. Just so beautiful, you guys. I wish you could all be up here with me right now, just enjoying yourselves and just having a great time. Look at how pretty that is. I mean, do I really get to live here? Yes, I do, and I can't believe it. And then this side, that's where we're gonna, that's where a lot of the storminess is. Look at that. Blue skies over there in Big Bear Lake. Dark gray clouds in Big Bear City. Oh boy, it's pretty. Okay, you guys. So for right now, I'm gonna shut this down and I'm gonna patch together some more video later if we have some more weather. If not, I'll just upload this video in a little bit. But uh, I'm sorry we only maybe got to see one lightning bolt, but I'm doing the best I can. I'm trying to catch everything I can for you guys. Um, once again, don't forget you guys, like I, I have a business and I work about 75 to 90 hours every week without fail. So you can tell this is a passion of mine because I am never not recording when we have any change of weather. So, um, and I love doing it for you guys to help keep you guys safe as well. 
I know a lot of you get worried and nervous driving up here because of the roads and the weather, even in the summertime. And I just want to be the one to be here for you guys to help you guys. It's very gratifying being able to help you guys. It feels good. it on until we get into Moonridge, into like, uh, um, we're, we're going to Clubview. It's a super beautiful Airbnb on Clubview. I wish we could record it. I'm going to talk to her boss, or I'm going to have her talk to her boss to see if uh, all the houses that she does clean and take care of, um, if if I can record them for you guys so you guys can see these places too. I just, I really like recording the places where I have stayed. I don't like recording places where I haven't stayed yet because I don't feel like that's fair to you guys because yeah, maybe it looks good, but maybe it's really crappy and I don't want to do that to you guys. I want you guys to have these experiences because I've experienced it myself and I know what to expect. I, I don't want you guys wasting your time and wasting your money up here. I want you guys to get the most out of Big Bear that you can. The most that you can, man. The most that you can, man. So here's where the roundabout and all the new stuff on Moon Ridge is going. It's been closed for about two months now right here. All right, so the detour is up here. You turn left on Peregrine. So here's Falcon, and the next street, I believe, is Peregrine. Yipperee! Yipperoonie! Yipperoonie! Look at that cute dog in that driver's seat. Okay, so we are going to be looking at... Oh, wow! This is going to be a great area to try to spot this lightning, you guys. Okay. Don't speed, Nick. Speed limit's 25, you're going 29. This is a neighborhood with kids. Don't speed. You guys, very important. I know none of you guys are speeders and racing through neighborhoods and stuff, but please be extra cautious up here because we we do, because we are a tourist town, we do have a lot more kids up here than a lot of towns do because all all these families are bringing their, their kids up here. So just, just be extra cautious. Just be extra cautious. Well, here we go. That's what I'm talking about right over there. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. And then here's the, the zoo straight ahead. This is the new zoo. We're gonna stay right here for a second. There's no cars behind us. Cause right here, which should be a good view. I hear thunder right now. Like just to the left of this big tree, that's where I think the lightning bolt's gonna be. Just to the left of this big tree.
or directly behind the big tree. Why are these flags at, at half staff or half mast or whatever it is, half staff? Oh my gosh, why am I so dumb? Don't answer that guys, please. Cause there's a lot of reasons there. A lot of reasons why I'm so damn. Maybe I've smoked myself dumb over the years, my friend. I don't know. But anyway, here's the golf course right here. And I will show you where I am going right now to this beautiful house. It's a one story house, but it's huge. And it's got a sauna inside. I mean, it's, it's, it's pretty spectacular, but here is this zoo at the golf course. All right, you guys, it's 4 of 11 p.m. This is just an attachment. Um, yeah, it's still pretty dreary out here. I'm not seeing, on the, on the radar, I'm not seeing much precipitation. However, some of these clouds look pretty nasty. And then behind Snow Summit right here, look at those, look at those clouds. It looks like something is building right above us. I wouldn't be surprised if a lightning bolt comes out of there. But it's super cool, super beautiful. I'm super, super happy. Anyway, I will patch this together once again. I told you guys I would do that. And uh, yeah, I just hope I'm not being too annoying. Thanks again for everything, you guys. And I will talk to you guys shortly. Peace. Wow, it's going to be nasty right here. Look at that. Give me some lightning, guys. Come on, just please. Come on, Mother Nature. Hook it up. Hook a brother up. Hook a brother up. Nope. Okay, you guys. This is over Bear, it's Bear Mountain and Snow Summit. It's looking pretty nasty out there. So look at that. I mean, just look at how incredible that looks. Isn't that just marvelous, you guys? Isn't that unbelievable? So hopefully we get some lightning bolts here. Come on, lightning bolt. Give me a shot there, lightning bolt. I like the lightning, I like the lightning. Come on the lightning and give me the thunder. I like the lightning. Okay, so when we turn on Moonridge Road, it looks like the clouds are even darker down Moonridge. This is great, so we're gonna turn down Moonridge. This is great. I'm gonna have to drive super duper slow though because I really want, oh my gosh. That area right there, that's it. That's where we're gonna get some uh some writing some writing oh. did you guys know that hot water make the noodle fatter hot water make the noodle fatter hot water make the noodle fatter all right here we go i bet you guys didn't know that that hot water makes the noodle fatter so hey, we learn something new every day every darn day Okay, so we're gonna stop right here for now. I love you guys a lot. Okay, so we're coming out of bonds right now. This is over towards Snow Summit. Look at the sky, looks insane. Seriously, I mean, that looks nasty right there. I hope we get something out of it. I'm doing the best I can, you guys. I really am. I'm doing the best I darn can. Let's see. Post up here for a sec. Look, then you can see the edge of the storm right here. Heck yeah, it's so beautiful. Wow. I love this. I mean, it's so beautiful, but right above Bear Mountain, look at that. That looks like a freaking fire. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, a thunderhead blown up, but we're getting towards the end of the day with the heat and the radiational heating. So it's gonna start calming down soon, I think. That's just amazing, guys. It's so beautiful. Anyway, this is the Vons parking lot. You guys know the Vons parking lot by now. <laughs> See you guys. I'll I'll be doing a I'll put some more videos together in a little bit, but we're gonna be uploading soon, I'm sure. I just want you guys to to see. We did get some drizzle and we oh. Wow, it's so beautiful. Well, anyway, we did get drizzle and a couple lightning bolts. 
I feel like I'm such a disappointment today though, guys. I'm sorry. But these look nasty. All right, you guys, we're back. We're back in the saddle again. Okay, so we're crossing Stanfield Cutoff. Once again, you guys, this is one of the most beautiful streets or this part of Big Bear right here, just this strip. I gotta roll down both windows for a second. So look, that's Big Bear Lake area towards the dam. Look at how beautiful that is, you guys. We are getting, look, it's perfectly clear out there. And then over here, that's Baldwin. Baldwin area, and this is a reserve right here. It's so beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. Behind us are the storms. So yeah, cool. We're gonna make a right here and come back. We're just gonna go around. So we're gonna come back through through Baldwin. It's gonna be a little bit of a drive, but it's gonna be awesome. And I love having you guys with me and especially having my wife with me. You guys, like, you guys know how much I love doing these videos anyway, but to have my wife with me, I mean, seriously, it's like going to Disneyland every day. That's how excited I am. Every single day that I have her in my life, it is like Disneyland. It's, the, it's just the happiest time of my life. I love this lady so much. She is so beautiful and so perfect. Aren't you, baby? Yes. <laughs> exactly. I'm sorry, I'm eating sushi in my mouth. She's eating sushi. She wasn't ignoring me as far as you know. And I had a lot of the... Wasabi? Well, my nose and... Yeah. <laughs> oh, sweet toasty. She had wasabi. <laughs> <laughs> Look at how beautiful those legs are too. Oh my gosh. I am a lucky man. I am a lucky, lucky man. I should have brought myself a drink too. Oh, do you want some of this water? It's fresh. Oh yeah, thank you. That's a cold one too. Oh, thanks. So, what about our reverse osmosis system? What's up with oh, that? Um, it's great. So, what's with all this? I don't know. <laughs> I have a hard time keeping track of one bottle, so I need like 10 bottles of water in order to properly get my water intake for the day. Alright, well you're going to have to like back up a little they bit. They all have to be open all at once. Guys, this is where the storm, this is where our lightning is going to be. Pardon me baby for reaching in front of you like this, but I've got to. Thank you, man. You guys, I can't wait for you to meet her, oh my gosh. Well, you've already met her, but like, and we keep on getting these flood advisories. I mean, like every 30 minutes it keeps popping up and extending it. So that's, that's a good sign. That's a good sign. Can we turn off the right here? Are you sure, babe? Well, I had that on for when I was at work. Oh, oh, I didn't yeah. Miss your call. Aww. So but you did. So. But you did. But I knew I did because it was on full last time. <laughs> So guys, I just gotta keep this right there because that's where we're gonna see the lightning. We can even see it right here, right above us, right in front of us, but it's really nasty out there. And obviously I'm paying attention to the road, so. I've got precious cargo in the vehicle now, you guys, so there's, I, I can't drive like an idiot anymore. Did you go, oh my gosh. I know this is like 40 minutes into this video already, but you guys, my, my Harley blew up. My $52,000 Harley Davidson blew up. It's a 2020 Fat Boy with a Screaming Eagle Stage 4 kit, SNS 2 into 1 exhaust, Legend suspension. Like the thing is, the shit isn't it. But it blew up and I cried. Because um, I thought my warranty was up. And fortunately, my warranty was not up. So we'll see what's going on. But yeah, unfortunately, you guys, my freaking Harley Davidson blew up. And it, a lot of people told me, a lot of my friends who I used to ride with, tell me that I ride so hard. I ride it like it's a street bike, and that's probably why. But, you know, it is what it is. One of the worst parts about it is that I'm probably not going to get it back to be able to ride it until next summer, maybe. Nice signal! <laughs> can't stand people like that. Sorry, you guys. I'm I'm just just folks who, who who don't turn on their signal and they slam on their brakes. Hey, is this your friend right here? Nope. Okay. We have a friend who is driving for Amazon now up here. 
So that's pretty cool. It's actually my wife's friend, but any friend of hers is a friend of mine. Oh, this is gonna be great coming back, you guys. This is gonna be great. And, oh, I'm so excited. I hope we see some, some good lightning. I hope we get some good rain on the way back. Yeah, this is... something crazy my wife before she moved up here she used to watch my channel all the time like to know what was going on up here before she actually came up here and then we ended up meeting and I fell in love with her right away she says she fell in love with me right away too but yeah I don't know <laughs> just kidding baby I fell in love with her right away though when you guys meet her you'll understand why one of the most beautiful women I've ever seen in my entire life. Super, super bright. Has a work ethic like no other. Um, she's tough. She doesn't. She doesn't take crap. Um, she's a very good-hearted person. Always looking out for other people. Puts others first. Um, she's God-fearing. She's she's perfect. You can jump on my sushi yourself, please. Oh, thanks, baby. But I don't need any sushi. <laughs> You're perfect. That's all I have to say. My perfect, perfect woman. Oh my gosh, look at all. You are so beautiful. Thank you. You're welcome. But seriously, like, you are so beautiful. And I'm not just saying this because it's on the freaking video, you guys. Like, she is gorgeous. No, he's really not. He always tells me how beautiful I am. Every day. All day. But she tells me how gorgeous I am all day too. Because it's true. Oh my gosh, you, can you guys believe this? Like, you guys remember how miserable I was nine months ago in the hospital for panic attacks and like not thinking that anything would ever change for me? Well, you know, beautiful. It looks like a little, like a, um, a window. Or, yeah, like little doll houses. Yeah, it does. It does. In, in a little doll town. <laughs> It is. That would be pretty cool. Oh, guys, you guys want to hear something really cool? So one of my friends, Mike, he owns um, uh, Big Bear Bar and Grill. They might be on Bar Rescue. The Bar Rescue crew is uh, came out today, so I have to call him and see what happened. Um, but I'm telling you guys, like, it, it's real drama over there, and I wish them the very best. But I mean, I really hope they get this opportunity because. As you guys know, the people who've watched that show, they completely re like they revamp your whole business, like everything about it. They give you brand new equipment and brand new POS systems, this and that, this and that, and they draw a lot of attention to you. Um, so hopefully, if you guys keep your fingers crossed, we will have something like that in Big Bear because that's gonna that's gonna bring a lot of notoriety to the town as well. Not that it doesn't already have any, but. Um, it, it's gonna assist with that and I'm super stoked because the more people we can get up here to spend money the better it is the longer I'll get to live up here in this beautiful place when all of you come up here and spend money and enjoy yourselves because without you guys none of us can live here and I'm not an idiot to 
not realize that. I know a lot of a lot of local people, you know, have issues with so-called flatlanders and stuff, and it, it's it's just so funny to me because they don't realize that you guys are the ones who keep us living up here. Most of us cannot live up here without tourists. That's what most of our jobs are. Unless we're like rich millionaires and we moved up here to retire, you have to be employed up here for the most part or else you're not gonna be able to live here. So we're very blessed, we're very fortunate. Um, and we count our lucky stars every single day, don't we baby? Every single day, you guys. We are very lucky. Very, very lucky. So since she's shy, I'll just show you part of her right now. Oh, that's my girl! That's my girl! <laughs> she's super shy. But she's my girl. Talk to my, my girl. Uh oh, watch out for this guy. He's coming up pretty fast. Oh, sweetheart, I can't wait till you see the refrigerator. What's in it? Oh my gosh, wait till you see. I, I, I already told you. It's just, no. It's, it's, Cupcakes. No. No. Ice cream. No. <laughs> no. Oh my gosh, fruit. Strawberries. Who are you calling a fruit, babe? <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't get anything healthy. Let's put it that way. Oh. Oh. Chips and sodas. For sure sodas. Lots and lots of sodas. Lots and lots and lots and lots. Oh, I'm excited. I'm excited too for you. You guys, Rachel. Look at the horses. Rachel turned me on to a drink that she kind of created. I can't tell you guys the recipe, but I'm not using any hyperbole. It's literally the best drink I've ever had in my entire life. You mix two things together. Um, I can't tell you because it's like so secret, but it's like the best drink I've ever had in my entire life and I look forward to drinking this every single day. It's the only drink that quenches my thirst besides the the yellow Gatorade when I'm like super, super thirsty and it's really cold. But yeah, so I have I really hit the lottery with this one right here. I really did. I mean, this was the mega. Oh, and then show them everything the Look at showing you the cows till they come home. <laughs> I guess you can't see the cows right now, because I missed them. But then right up above here, that's where we should be getting some lightning right there in this area. But it's not happening at the moment. Wow, look at that. So, it's the end of the storm over there. Yeah, we're kind of in the tail end here. If you look to the left, oh wow, there we go. Something good over there. It's pretty dark over there, but it's as I said, it's gonna be this area right here. If we get anything, it's gonna be right there. I'm sorry, baby. Did I hit that? Pulled my water down the wrong pipe. <laughs> okay, so I've been telling them about the whole case of them. You guys, this is so beautiful. This is such a beautiful place. It's such a beautiful place. As I told you guys, our town has its small town issues and then some. You just, you just got to be careful who you associate with. I hate to say that. There's more horses here, guys. I know, but okay. If it makes you feel unsafe, I'll drive slower. I'm just trying to go the speed limit. There. Do not 
not do that. Okay, now, right here is where she gets really scared. So, apparently she read that right on this part right here, this next 100 yards where well, the... Just like this stretch alone. Yeah, yeah. this next 100 yards. Like where this, this part specifically where it becomes one. Yeah. But there's been a lot of head on collisions here. Yeah. Because people drive super fast. I was just surprised because the speed limit's 40, like, and you can't really get up to speed too fast around here, no matter how drunk you are. Like, people must not be wearing their seatbelts, but when she told me that, I actually looked it up, and there have been a few fatal accidents right there, so. I was I was surprised. Well, no, well, at 35 miles an hour, I just thought, but then I thought about it, two cars going 35 head on, that's 70 miles an hour. But I just wanted to see, because then I can warn these guys, because which I'm warning you guys right now, right there on Shea Road, you guys don't 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 take it lightly, especially in the winter time because it's really shady right there. So even if it's not if, there, if, if there's not any snow right there, just the chance to get black ice is super 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 high right there. So you just need to be super careful and always be careful up here. That's part of what I love to do is to to give you guys a heads up so you guys can stay safe and get home in one piece. I want you guys to come up here and enjoy yourselves. Getting in an accident and having a nightmare is 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 not what you want to happen. And I can't tell you, countless times have I heard the most tragic stories, you guys. People coming up here to vacation, having a good time, and they don't make it back home. Like, either on the drive home or, or like something. So, it's no joke. Yeah, it's a beautiful place, but but you guys, please don't, it's, it's no joke up here. You gotta be very, very, very careful. Especially if you don't know this area. Especially if you don't know this area. And all of you are so important. You, you guys have so much to live for. You are wonderful people. You guys make me feel like I'm a million bucks. Like, I'm, I don't want anything to happen to you guys. All right, so where we are at right now, this is Highway 38. So this is one of the ways in to Big Bear and out of Big Bear. Highway 38. Sorry, babe. <laughs> Sorry, babe. I gave her the bro handshake and it was too bro -y. It hurt her. Her I, I broke her fingers. Dang. Are you okay, a baby? And a, a couple of her new, like, $300,000 <laughs> fingernails. <laughs> Can you show them your nails real quick? Just your nails? Okay. See, she's super shy. My hands are so ugly. She thinks her hands are so ugly. Here, I'll show them to you like this. She's incredible because she's so beautiful. Here, show them. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. See how shy she is? That's all you get. That's all we get. <laughs> no more, no less. That's my real place. That's her, that's her talking right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you guys, I, I really want to show her, but today is not the day. Today is not the day. I hope you, all of you are sitting down. <laughs> oh my gosh, she is so cute. I love you so much. I love you so much. Guys, I'm sorry about this. It's supposed to be a weather channel, not <laughs> not like a porn slash like, like, <laughs> like not a porn, uh, like a romance film. I, I apologize. I didn't mean to say the, the four letter P word. Wow. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> so anyway, we're in Big Bear City, and we are heading kind of out of the storm. Obviously, we're still underneath it a little bit, but as you can see, over there is the tail end of it. And for some reason, it feels like this storm's coming from west to east, which is not monsoon-like. Usually, they're it's in east to west flow. Also, you guys, when you come up here, bear smoke and vape. Always shop there when you guys need any smoking utensils or just any cool little gadgets. They've got some like local big bear stuff there too. The owner's a really wonderful person. I love his family. Um, anything that we can do to help them out, I I suggest you guys shop there. I, I would never lead you guys astray. You guys know that by now. 
So, yeah, Big Bear Smoke and Vape, and they have a second store in Big Bear Lake called Big Bear Smoke and Vape 2. <laughs> I guess a recap on today's weather real quick. We didn't get what was expected, but we did see a couple lightning bolts, and I think I caught one on video. Um, and we got a little drizzle in parts of town. So we got something. I know this is an extra long video, and I apologize once again. I've apologized a lot on this video. Just hopefully you guys don't smack me next time you see me. But. Anyway, I don't know how much we're going to be able to do now because it looks like it's going to be done. However, it says we have a flash flood or a flood advisory beyond 8.30 tonight. So that leads me to believe that there's still some more storms on the horizon. It's just, I mean, from that direction behind us, it certainly, it certainly looks like it. I just don't want to get the video uploaded and then have to upload another video later. But we might just do that because this is going to take forever to upload. Once again, guys, thank you so much for all the support you always give me over all these years. All the loving, kind comments you guys leave me, it really makes me feel super, super, super good. You guys are very genuine people. We have such a wonderful community together, and I am so blessed to have you guys in my life. Like, once again, I can never stop telling you guys how important you guys are to me. Right? You guys mean the absolute world to me. You guys have impacted my life. As I told you guys, you guys saved my life. I, I think I was so down as you guys know and I've told you guys numerous times that with you guys love and support like I think it, it got me through some times that I don't think I would have been able to get through and you guys tell me that I do the same thing for for some of you like it's 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 mind-boggling it's mind-boggling but I'm so I'm, I'm, I'm gracious and joyous that I'm actually able to impact some of your lives in such a way to where you'll make a different decision on something in life. And just to know that I've touched somebody like that, I could go tomorrow and my, my job is done, you know? But I can keep on helping and you guys help me all the time. We just gotta stick together, you guys. It's really simple. We just, we just gotta stick together and show each other love and respect. And show other people in your lives love and respect. Give people the benefit of the doubt. You know, don't always jump to conclusions. Just why be stressed out? And I need to take my own advice for sure. But I love you guys with all my heart. You guys have really been there for me through the, through the toughest of times. And I will promise you that I will always be there for you guys. So anyway, thank you guys. I am going to sign off right now, but we might make another video later if the thunder and lightning at nighttime is pretty epic. Or if we get any, you know I'll be making a video. Take care. Say bye, Rachel. Bye. <laughs> Gosh, she is not shy. I love you guys. Talk. Bye, everybody. And I can't wait. Oh, look at how beautiful that looks. <laughs> Seriously. Okay. I gotta push stop or else I'm gonna like never stop recording. Love you guys. Talk to you guys soon.